These pilgrims are on their way to St. Angela's birth home in Desenzano. It looks like they know where they're going, so we'll follow them. This sign tells us that we're on the right street, St. Angela Marici Street. Our other marker is Desenzano's Castle. It's actually just across the street from St. Angela's birth home. Notice how easily it is spotted from almost anywhere in Desenzano, including the harbor. This street sign tells us we're headed in the right direction, Castle Street. In fact, this modern sign tells us that the castle dates to the 13th century in its present form. It's actually built over a much more ancient Roman fort, originally constructed to protect the local population from barbarian invaders. After we visit Angela's birth home, we'll also take a quick peek inside the castle to catch some amazing views of Desenzano and Lake Garda. In this photo, taken from the castle itself, you can see Angela's birth home on the lower right. It's the yellow-orange house tucked between the yellow house on the left and the blue house on the right. Just a little up the street is St. Angela's birth home. The stone wall on the left actually borders the castle property. This inscription found on the wall opposite St. Angela's birth house reads as follows. St. Angela Marici, founder of the company of St. Ursula, died in Brescia January 27, 1540. It is presumed that she died when she was 66 years old. She was born in this house opposite this inscription on the first floor. Well, here's the house. You'd never know it though if it weren't for the inscription. The house is presently owned by a family whose daughter is a sister of St. Ursula of St. Charles Borromeo, the same sisters who run the Mariccianum outside of Desenzano. Their daughter works in Rome at a home for handicapped children. The inscription says that Angela was born on the first floor. But don't think of this as the first floor. In the Mediterranean world, this is the ground floor, and the next floor up is the first floor. Here's the first floor. And these flowers adorn the second floor windows. Here's a good view of the first and second floors. Just inside the window on the right, St. Angela was born around 1475. Here's another view of St. Angela's birth home taken from a perch just above the street. Can you make it out? Let's make our way to the castle now. It offers some phenomenal panoramic views of Lake Garda and its coastline.
As our gaze turns east, we can make out the Sermione Peninsula with its own ancient castle standing guard. It's time to leave now. Come with us to La Grecia, St. Angela's childhood home, as well as to Salo and Brescia. And please join us for the short evening prayer along the Desenzano coast. We hope to see you soon.